What's up y'all, it's your girl Stephanie and I'm currently not in my normal filming setup. I am in a hotel in Hong Kong and I thought that this would be a great opportunity for me to show y'all my travel toiletries because by now I've got this on lock. I've been traveling a ton and international travel especially can really mess with your skin. So this is not the time to skimp out on your skincare. Personally, whether it is a very short plane trip or a long one, they can both really mess up my skin. So I'm very happy to show y'all my whole routine here. And I'm also very happy to announce that this video is in partnership with Dr. Jart. Y'all know I've been a big fan of Dr. Jart for a long time, so I feel very honored that they wanted to work with me in this video. They just released their new and improved Ceramide Collection, which is a ceramide-based skincare line. Ceramides are our skin's natural protection barrier, which helps to defend against environmental aggressors. So clearly, this is an incredible line for travel. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. Okay, I have laid out everything in front of me here, which all fits into this bag right here, which is a Dr. Jart bag. And I did not plan this at all. This is the bag that I use for my skincare. And I got it from them, like a, from their previous collection, from the Seek Pair collection. So yeah, I don't know, it's kind of funny. I didn't even realize that this was Dr. Jart. But anyways, so of course, right when I wake up, I wash my face. So this is the cleansing gel that I use from Dermalogica, this special cleansing gel. This is just a really nice, straightforward, face wash. It's great for, I think, all skin types, to be honest. I bought it because of acne. I just feel like it is really cleaning, but doesn't strip your skin. You don't feel any kind of weird residue afterwards. And a lot of these things that I'm going to be talking about in this video are items that I also use just like at home, but like they're mini versions of them. So something like this is definitely something that I would use at home as well. I really like this face wash. So after washing my face, we're gonna get into the Ceramiden collection. So here we have this cute, tidy little Dr. Jart Ceramiden liquid. This is a lightweight moisturizing toner, which helps to prep the skin for the next products within your routine. They're actually selling these little minis I'm gonna show you, like in a holiday bundle at Sephora right now. So if you wanna grab this tiny little thing, it's so cute. And also, you know, I've been using this for the past two weeks pretty much every day and there's still stuff in there. So a little bit does go a very, very long way. So with this product right after I wash my face, I just put a bit in my hands. And what I do is I kind of just rub it with my fingers and I gently kind of pat it into my skin. And the full size product is $39 at Sephora. So right after I use this little guy, then I go right into my moisturizer, which is the Dr. Dart Ceramiden Cream. So what makes this line new and improved is that it includes their new ceramide stabilization technology, which is 5 Cera Complex, which ensures that ceramides are able to penetrate deeper into your lipid layer in your skin. So that strengthens the skin barrier and shields it from water and moisture loss. And when you're traveling, I just, my skin gets so, so dehydrated and I'm definitely not drinking enough water. Cause you know, I like to drink a lot of water on a plane. I don't mind getting up a couple times to go to the restroom, but I also like to have the window seat. <laughs> so a lot of times I try to drink less than I typically would, cause obviously you don't wanna get up from your seat like four times during a flight. So yeah, I just feel like I try to add moisture into my body externally if I'm not able to do it so much internally. So this line is definitely here for me. <laughs> so obviously what I do with this guy is I just apply it very evenly all over my face and the full size product is $48 at Sephora. So after I do my face, I got my eye cream. Sometimes I do the eye cream first. Um, really depends on what's closer to me on the counter. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do first, but I mean, I do them in such quick succession that it doesn't really matter, I guess. But anyways, I have this little pot here and this is my Bobbi Brown eye cream. Sometimes I bring the full thing with me, um, but I did have this little container that I got from Daiso. So I just like dumped it into here. This is just my favorite eye cream. It is just so creamy, absorbs into the skin well, doesn't irritate my eyes. I tend to not really gravitate towards like gel products. Also because those products are for like puffiness, which 
thankfully I haven't really had to deal with yet. So I just like to try and do deeply moisturizing stuff because I can get kind of like flaky skin around my eyelids. So this one is my fave. So after eye cream, I go into my sunscreen and here I have the super goop unseen sunscreen. This is just my favorite sunscreen. It's SPF 40. It's almost like a primer in itself. It's really interesting. It is very silky texture. It kind of feels like like the professional when you put it on, but I also prime my skin for my makeup. But in any case, this is really great. I'll also wear this just on days where I'm not wearing any makeup at all. And I feel like it like helps to mattify a little bit, I think so. So after that, I typically just go into a couple little extras here. I have the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. <laughs> I have a new one too, but I just decided to bring out this old one. This guy is like ready to retire real, real fast. I mean, just one of my favorite things to put on my lips. I always need something on my lips because they can be quite dry. And this one is super long lasting. Sometimes I'll just wear this like as a gloss because it has a really nice sheen to it. It smells really good and it lasts for a long time. I think I've probably had this thing for way too long. It should be retired because, oh, 24 months actually, okay. I don't think I have this for two years, but quite close. So it's lasted me a long time. And after that, I just like to throw on a hand cream. So this is the Body Shop Coconut Hand Cream. Just a really straightforward, good smelling hand cream. You really can't go wrong with Body Shop creams and lotions. Just feels really nice. No weird residue or anything on the hands. Um, I use this at night, in the daytime, on the plane. I actually have like, a whole kind of separate thing that I bring on the plane. It is comprised of things in this list, but I also have a couple extra things as well. So let me know if you wanna see that video. I was trying to see if maybe I should do a video like my plane routine and also like what I wear on the plane, what I bring in my carry-on, like just so you know how I really prep for like a long haul flight, like going here or going to Australia. I have a very specific routine that I follow now, but anyways, that's pretty much all the stuff that I wear in the daytime. Now I've got some nighttime stuff, some miscellaneous items. So when I take off my makeup, I start off with the eyes. So here I have the Lancome Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. This bottle has seen the world because I just keep refilling it from my larger um, eye makeup remover at home. This is my favorite eye makeup remover of all time. It is like this bi-layer where you just shake it up and then I put it onto a flat cotton bud or cotton round and then hold it on my eye and you don't have to do any major rubbing. It's very, very gentle. It just breaks down all the makeup, all the mascara on your face. And yeah, I love it. I, whenever I'm without this, I am just like, how do people remove their makeup? So this is definitely one of my faves. And of course with that, um, I have these like organic cotton pads that I just got from Amazon. At home, I've actually started to use reusable ones that are washable. So I think my next video or my next favorites, I'll talk about those because I really have been enjoying using those, but it is a little bit difficult for travel. So, and I also have a bunch of these left, so I'm just using them up. So after I take off my eye makeup, I have these simple wipes for just the rest of my face. Again, at home, I typically don't like to use wipes. I have other makeup remover methods. I like to use a muslin cloth with a cleanser, um, but you know, for travel, sometimes it's just more convenient to have a wipe like this. It is just a straightforward, great cleansing wipes. It's definitely one of the top cleansing wipes in my list up there with the like micellar water ones from Garnier. So after removing the makeup, I go back in with my Dermalogica. And at this point, sometimes, especially when I'm traveling, I like to do some masks if I have some time. So I have two here. Um, if I wanna go for a moisturizing mask, which I can also use on the plane, I have the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Facial Mask. This is an intense moisturizing sheet mask. This mask boosts and seals critical moisture to improve the skin's texture, smoothness, and appearance. Um, I have used this one before putting on makeup too, so it's not just like a nighttime thing. When you put it on, you massage the remaining serum into your skin. I like to, you know, like really squeeze out the contents and put it on. I also like with the leftovers, I'll just like wipe it on my legs or wipe it all over my arms. And then after you take it off, you can just like kind of rub the product back into your skin as well. But if I'm doing it in the daytime, I'll get like a hot cloth and I'll just like put it on my face like a hot wet cloth. I feel like that just is really nice and it kind of, you know, adds a little steam factor to it afterwards. 
Um, but yeah, this is just a really nice moisturizing mask. These are $6 at Sephora. If you're looking for a mask that is a little bit more for drawing out impurities, so the other side of the spectrum, um, I have this little mini Glam Glow mask that I have, this super mud clearing treatment. I think I also got this as a Sephora perk, this little bottle guy here, and I was stoked because I really do like bringing some sort of mask like this on trips with me. I think that like, I don't know what happened at the hotel in Shanghai maybe. I don't know what was going on with the pillow, but I woke up one day and I had all these bumps and then I got like this big old breakout right on my chin. And I remember like sleeping so hard on that side of my face when I woke up that there was all these marks and then I had all these bumps. So maybe the pillow was not so clean. I try to sleep, you know, just with my neck and not put my face on hotel pillows, but you know, you can't help what happens in the middle of the night. So this is the kind of situation that I like to use when that happens. Um, also, if I have like individual breakouts, you know, you can kind of spot treat it and try and draw out impurities with this guy. So I always like to bring something like this. Once we're done with all the masks and treatments, we want to go into the moisturization. So we can go back in with the Ceramide Collection here, but I also have some other options. So if I don't use uh, the lotion here, I can also use this Sika Pear Tiger Grass Nightly Repair Mask by Dr. Jart. This is like a really hardcore moisturizing mask. The product packaging of this is very unique because it's in these little packets and one of these packets lasts for a good like three or four uses personally. So when I'm doing like weekend or trips, I like to bring this a lot because I can just bring this one thing very easy to pack and it'll last me every single night. It is extremely moisturizing. It really is a mask. If you wanna kinda like put on a barrier on your skin on the plane, I will bring this with me on the plane for sure. I just feel like these moisturizing masks are great for the plane because it's creating an, a real barrier between your skin and the recycled air out there because when you wake up, you will still feel this on your face. It absorbs but it doesn't absorb completely. Um, so you do need to make sure to wash it off in the morning and your skin is very hydrated after that. Oh man, we are gonna go into some like miscellaneous items before going into hair and body. So um, yeah, I just wanna mention this one here. This is the Garnier Soothing Facial Mist. This is a rose water mist and I've just been really loving this guy. Um, I have actually should have put this in the daytime area because as a very last step, I will just spray this on before putting on my makeup. I just feel like it just smells so good. Mm. It smells so, so nice. And this is the thing that I use the most on the plane, or at least this last plane ride. I use this like, I don't know, at least once an hour I use this. Um, and the woman that was sitting next to me, she was also like, um, she was an older Chinese lady and she had her rose water mist. We were both just missed it away on ourselves. It was great. Um, but it's a very pleasant scent. It is not a super strong scent. It kind of like stays in your area and it doesn't linger on the skin either, but just smells really good. And I, I don't know, it's just like a nice little extra step that I like to put on my skin for a little extra moisture. These next two items are things that you definitely need in your travel bag. So we got some floss and my, I'll explain this in a second. Um, this floss is the Coco Floss Delicious Mint Floss. It is a floss from Sephora. I never thought that I would be a floss snob until, I don't know, kind of recently. I was, I was using real cheapo floss, like the cheapest one that you could get maybe at the dollar store. And that stuff just breaks and it gets caught in your teeth and it doesn't actually clean. This floss, it like is grippy and it, when you're flossing with it, you really feel it gripping all that plaque and gunk out of your teeth. And it doesn't like cut you, cause I've had really cheap thin floss before where I'm like shoving it up in my tooth and it like is so thin and sharp that it will cut my, my um, gums and I have pretty sensitive gums so. Yeah, I've been raving about this floss to everybody. I haven't really talked about it in video, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I've ever talked about this in video. My favorite floss. This is like my third or fourth little container. It is a little bit pricier, but I don't know, man. It actually makes me want to floss, so 
that makes it worth it for me. I enjoy flossing because of this floss. My Quip toothbrush, as you can see, does not have a head. And that's because disaster struck when I was going from uh, Tokyo to Hong Kong. I had my little Ziploc bag full of things, you know, little items I wanted to bring with me on the plane. And my toothbrush is always one of them. And somehow, I don't know what happened. The bag overturned while I was just sitting there and I didn't realize it. And a bunch of the stuff went onto the ground. So I actually had to like sanitize a bunch of these things. Like I poured like boiling water on top of a bunch of these items like this and my eye cream and the little minis of the ceramide and I literally doused in boiling water. But my poor toothbrush, I was stepping on it with my Dr. Martens on the toothbrush head. And I looked down and my feet, my foot was just on, on it. And there's no saving that, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry that no matter how much scrubbing or hot boiling water I pour in that, like to me, I literally was stepping on the toothbrush head. So I was like, that one's done. I have a new brush head to put on this at home in any case. So I've just been currently using like a hotel toothbrush for the next few days. It's fine. But anyways, I love my Quip toothbrush, but it's not underneath my Dr. Martin. For body care, I just have a few items here. So uh, in terms of lotion, I got my Sol de Janeiro Brazilian. This is actually Boom Boom Cream. I've been calling it Bum Bum Cream forever, but I'm fairly certain it's pronounced Boom Boom Cream. This stuff just smells super good. Y'all know what I'm talking about already. I'm sure you smelt it. Um, I have used this plus the body wash plus the body spray is my favorite combo. So I'm just like completely doused in this scent. This size is really great for two weeks. I already was using this a couple times on like a couple like week long or weekend or trips. Because it's so thick, you use so little of it. They even have a smaller size, by the way, than this one now. And that one is really great for just nice weekend trips because again, you use so little of this. Um, and it just smells fantastic. It's just something like when I'm traveling, I really want to add that moisture and I want to smell good. So I got this and I guess quick shout out to my Dove deodorant. This is the advanced care. It is gone. I'm deep in the ridges, but I only have like one more day here. So I've been holding on to this. I don't know, man. I'd always use Dove. Dove works for my body. It works for me. I've tried to use other things too. And I just love Dove. My bod likes Dove. And then I got this here. I love this. This is my travel razor from Venus. This little case and the little razor is just so freaking handy. I think an issue that a lot of people come across is like, how do you bring a razor with you uh, in all your stuff? I've definitely gotten cut by a razor before that I just lazily threw into my bag and that was terrible. So this is a great solution for that. It's also so small great for travel. And I really do like using this razor. The little grippy part is really nice and you have a lot of control. So that's my razor here. In terms of my hair care, I bring just little samples that I get from Sephora that I save up. I kind of map out how many days I'm actually going to wash my hair and just bring that amount. And I'm pretty much I'm only gonna have one more shower in terms of washing my hair right before leaving. So I was pretty close because I obviously used some before um, filming this. So this is what I got left. So that's just what I like to do for my shampoo. I'll just use the body wash at any hotel. So I think that that's fine. Personally for my body, I just use the body wash. And then for the dry hair, I got two products here. We got the Bumble and Bumble, BB Spray to Mode Flexible Hold Hairspray. This is my favorite hairspray currently. I really love it. You know, it gets all the little flyaways to lay down and stay where you want it to stay. But also this is great because sometimes I wanna like put my hair up in a bun again the next day. I'm not gonna wash my hair. And if you brush your hair out, there's not gonna be any weird white residue. That's the worst when you use a hairspray and you you know, try and brush it out and it just looks all flaky. Oh my God, this one doesn't do that at all. Great for dark hair. Uh, and then I have my Bumble and Bumble Prepta Powder, this little baby guy. My favorite dry shampoo. Y'all know about this. I talked about it a ton. Just shake it into my hands. 
get it all up in there. A lot of times when I take a shower at night, I put this in my hair before I go to bed and the next day, everything's great because I'm so freaking oily in the scalp area that sometimes I'll wash my hair, go to sleep, and the next morning, my head will be oily. So this prevents that from happening. <laughs> Holy crap, I think this video is gonna be really long because I talked about a lot of things like my throat is starting to hurt right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far. And thank you to Dr. Jart for partnering with me. If you wanna check out their new and improved Ceramidin collection, I'll make sure to link it in the description box down below. I love y'all so much. You really make my life possible. I could not do this without you. So thank you. If you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe below. I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.